testing. Autopsy results of an Amarillo woman are back today and her boyfriend is now charged with her murder. News Channel 10's Maxine Riddling joins us live in the news center with what investigators suspect happened the night of Daisy Strout's murder. Preliminary autopsy results showed Strout died from blunt force injuries, crushing her upper body. Tire treads were also found on her body and it's suspected they were from a 2003 Chevrolet Avalanche. We do believe that the Chevrolet Avalanche that we took and still have in custody is the one that Mr. Buse was driving that night. On the night of Daisy Strout's murder, her boyfriend, 43-year-old Michael Buse, was reportedly the last one to see her alive. We do know that they were in some kind of verbal argument and that Daisy exited the truck in the parking lot and was struck by the vehicle at a very slow speed. The couple was last seen together at the Broken Spoke Lounge where Strout worked. We were told that there was some type of argument in the bar that had been going on almost all evening long. Nothing violent, nothing physical. Witnesses say it was 1130 when the couple left the bar in the truck that investigators believe struck and killed Strout several blocks away. We decided to re-interview Daisy's boyfriend. We invited him down to Special Crimes. He came, he drove himself down here. Um, we interviewed him for, sh uh, for a short period of time and after that interview uh, we made contact with the district attorney and it was decided to arrest him at that time and charge him with murder. Lieutenant Troop says they are now investigating whether the tire treads match the same ones found on Strout's body. Live in the News Center, Maxine Ridling, News Channel 10.